I learned about savory breakfast. I think that's huge and that's so social to like like sweets in the morning. And, and it was true that I was more hungry at 11 when I was eating like a, a sweet breakfast. So I love the idea of having recipes for savory breakfast. Yeah. I learned about sprouts, uh, that they are more easily digested um, and also they are more nutritious. And also I, li I learned how to like different cuts of meat has different uh, nutrients and I could choose like better in the, in the future. I, I knew that gelatin uh, was good for me, it was good for my gut, but I didn't know how to, good, to make good recipes. So um, in Cooking for Balance, there are like many nice uh, like gelatins that are, 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 are very tasty. And also like there are some smoothies, like the chocolate hazelnut smoothies that really like fix my cravings for something sweet and creamy without the dairy and without the sugar. So I enjoy a lot having the, the guides because I could like print them and like put them in the inside of the cupboards in my kitchen. And for example, like the, the sweet the sweeteners, because sometimes you, you don't have the 20 different sweeteners in your mind to remember which ones are good or bad for you. So it was very nice to have them uh, handy there or the guides for sprouts or for like stir fries. I think that this is very nice how you can make a really nutritious food, but not in very, I mean, not taking long time to do it. And I think it's, it's very nice to have this, con this information in a very like, um, like handy format. Because I have digestive problems and like um, hormonal, I, I have been paying a lot of attention to my liver and the liver hand out. I have it like in the wall in my kitchen because the, then it reminds me, for example, I haven't eat, if I haven't made bone broth in the last weeks, it's like, okay, I should, I should start to do it because I know that I feel better. Yeah. Maybe it's because of my, my scientific background that I, I find that when I know why I'm doing certain things because it's good for my health, it's much more empowering and, and strong. So I like that this is not a course just for recipes. It's also about teach, I mean, giving you the information about the hormonal path that are, are going through in your body. For example, the idea of like that you produce cortisol. If you, I mean, if you are stressed, you don't produce progesterone because your body prefers to produce cortisol. And that was huge for me. Or the idea that you need to sleep and that is really, really important. So um, I think that was one of my favorite like parts of this program is that it's not just recipes, it's also about information.